Welcome collectors to another edition of Like a Hawk Cards. This is going to be my pickups and brief recap of the National in 2021. Had a lot of fun. Was able to meet a couple people from the channel. Uh, shout out to Jose and Essay who uh, actually helped me with one of the buried treasures. He, he paid for one of the cards in an upcoming buried treasure. So that's going to be very cool. Um, and was able to look through a lot of wrestling cards with both of them. So appreciate that. But uh, yeah, so I was there for all five days. The main reason why I went is because I wanted to get three cards graded. I will show these off in a separate video, but if you want to get a sneak peek of what cards I got graded, I'm just gonna show a little bit of the card. So there's one of the cards I got graded. That is a Doncheck RPA at a 99. This is the Prism or Hollow Patrick Mahomes that I got um, I, that I got out of a Mega Box from Target. If you remember that back in the day, and I got that graded, and then I got the Stunning Steve rookie card graded. So I will do a video for that. I was very happy with those grades. Um, yeah. So overall. At the national a lot of things that were in the cabinets were ebay priced and then it was up to you to try to get the dealers off of those prices however there were a few things that you could find that you're not going to find on ebay and one of those was my a, a grail pc card which i never thought i was going to get and i'm not going to bury the lead we're going to show it off right now because i'm so happy to get this this is a juan soto this is going to be the, his rookie, autographed rookie card of Bowman. So the PSA 9s, when I last looked about a week ago, they were $3,000. And this was an SGC 8.5 autograph with a 10. And this was less than half of that cost. And the nice thing for me was I didn't pay anything because I traded wax for it. So when I started the channel, I bought a lot of wax to, to eventually crack. Um, and then there were some boxes just that got out of hand and I just never cracked them. Uh, case in point, I had 10 or 12 2019 Bowman Mega Boxes. Five of those went into this. So I was able to trade wax for this. So this was essentially free to get a Grail card. I was looking to pick up this Juan Soto. He is now uh, my PC. We'll see what happens with Anthony Rizzo. Um, Rizzo cards, I may just PC his Cub stuff and KB stuff. Same thing with him. We'll have to see where they go. But uh, Juan Soto is going to be a, a PC too. So happy to pick this up. I just wanted to get this a version of this card. So this was very happy. This was my biggest pickup and probably the one I was most excited about um, at the National. The other strange things that was kind of cool at the National was this. And I couldn't believe the price on this. Let me know. We're going to show this off here. This is a World Series uh, championship, Chicago Cubs World Champions World Series ring. So it's got the what the World Series ring would look like. There, it's got the the side of that. It's kind of gonna be kind of hard to see all that. I was trying to get it off of black. So there you go. So there's the side. It's got the W, and this one actually was nice because it has Rizzo's name on the side right there. So it's got the flag. We never quit right there. And then on the inside, which I don't know if you're going to be able to see, it's got the date and time. So 11-3, it's got 12.47 a.m., and then it has the different series within them. This ring... They were, there was a, a booth that was just doing these rings. This ring was $25, and I got a holder for $5. So you're going to see this in the background. And I just thought this was so cool, uh, remembrance, especially of, of now because the team has been dismantled, to be able to pick up a World Series Champions replica ring for $25. I thought that that was a heck of a deal. Um, just a great memory to have, too. Uh, I love to put... Um, a World Series relic next to it. I've been looking at some of those on tops. So if I can get that, I think that'd be a, the start of a very cool looking um, display that I could have for, for the Cubs. 
So the other things we were able to pick up, let's just go through some promos real quick. So eBay was giving these $10 coupon codes. Uh, and then you got one of these DJ Ski promos. So I was able to get two of these. I got the Wrigleyville, the Cubs Wrigleyville one. That was kind of cool. And those were numbered out of 2021. And this was two of four. So if you got all four, you're able to submit that to get a fifth card for free. And then I got the Jordan. And these are thick cards. This is 1251 out of 2021. Supposedly, there are variations of the Michael Jordan. I don't know. I'm not that big into all this. Uh, somebody knows, you can leave that in the comments. Um, and then in terms of other promos, we got a couple of the wild card packs. So we ripped those open. It's nice. It's got, got the VIP Nationals. So we got Trevor Lawrence. We got Justin Fields, who that's going to go to my brother. Javante Williams, expecting nice things out of him. Devonta Smith. Javon Wild, Spencer Rattler, first wild card, and that was from the National as well. Mac Jones, and then we got some black wild card mats. Mac Jones, Patrick Sertain, Queedy Pay. So those were some of the promos that I got. And let's just go through the pickups. So this one was a pickup that I got for a holiday gift for Jason. So Jason Aaron Goldberg, this is a Topps Dynasty DJ LeMayhew. This is 9 out of 10. So again, the dynasties normally have the patches on card autograph. And this was so, for me, it was ridiculous under underpriced because uh, these dynasty boxes go for like 400 now. I think I got this for 70. So that was nice. And along with that, I got a Shinsuke fully loaded table relic for 15 bucks. And these were out of boxes that were 75. That's out of 99. So a table relic of Shinsuke. I'm going to try to put this into, I may even put this into one of the, um, as a choice that you can get for the participation prize for this year's laugh. But expect that to be in some contest later on. Um, next up, we got some wrestling pickups. So there was one person that had some great uh, wrestling autos. And this was the, the breaker. This, the person I met wasn't uh, Garrett. This, he was the owner. But silver and gold box breaks, I guess they do a lot of wrestling breaks. So we're going to have to look into that. But we're able to pick up these. And I'll have to say, if there's any prices on them, this is not what I paid. So a lot of these prices are going to be um, 10 probably 10%, 20% off. So I got this Bailey Relic. That was out of 50 from the Royal Rumble. I got that. This is also one of my favorite wrestling pickups. This was a Mr. Kennedy auto, and he signed it Mr. Kennedy and Kennedy. So I thought that was very cool. I was, always, I was looking for one of his for a while, and I loved the auto that had the dual Kennedy-Kennedy on it. Picked up a Nikki Cross rookie card. That was on the cheap. That was uh, out of 99, so that may go into a giveaway. I got my first Io Shirai. This was her first NXT card, so that was exciting. Um, and that was out of 150, so happy to pick that up. Again, I did not pay the, the 25. Um, this was Becky Lynch. This is my first Becky Lynch auto right there. That was out of 50, and I thought that was a heck of a deal. That I think I got for 40. Uh, and that's exactly where her 199 autos are going, so that was cool. And then we got some numbered... Um, Boston Hug card. So there's the, I told you I was going for that rainbow. That was out of 75, the green version of that. We got Bailey winning the money in the bank. I thought that was pretty cool with the green. That was out of 75. We got the Boss out of 99. Got the Lacey Evans out of 99 for that. And then we were able to pick up a Booker T. Out of 199, this was the one that SC helped me about. This is going into a future buried treasure. So I was very happy to pick up that. Um, so we got those. Um, next up, we got, I think these in total were about $30. I got a Marco Luciano. This was an insert, and this was a gold out of 50. I don't know if you can see that right there. 11 out of 50. So that was very cool. We got a Dirk Nowitzki. Relic that was out of 199 and start to look right now for the Cubs prospect. So I was able to get a, an Ed Howard prospect card, first Bowman out of 499. I thought that was cool with the sky blue in the back. 
And then we got the Topps Finest die cut that were out in this year's boxes of Mike Trout. These were supposed to be, I think, every box or every other box. And I just thought the price was, was decent to pick that up. I love those, those die cuts. So there is that. Next up, and for sure these price, there was one gentleman, and this was a gentleman. Uh, but he just put out ridiculous, I think these were 30% off or 40% off. It was some ridiculously low price. So this is a Juan Soto rookie out of, out of 99. This was one of the ones out of the National. Did not pay 25, probably paid about 15 for this. That was out of the 2018 National. Picked up a Troy Aikman um, rookie card. This was his traded, 70 traded. So that was like three bucks. I'll take that every day. We got a Fitz, and that was from 2016. And that's the refractor, the prism version. We got a, a Fitz rookie card. And then we got a rookie card here of Carmelo Anthony and Chris Bosch. So that was very cool in there. So those were severely discounted. Uh, picked up this for uh, Jason. I got actually got this for $5. So this is the Jeter SP with the mantle and Bush in the background. So there's George Bush right there in the background. And then you have Mickey Mantle in the dugout right there. I was able to get this for 5 for him for the PC. So that was cool. Um, next up, we got some... So these the next up are going to be... I, some stuff I got in the quarter bins. Yes, the quarter bins. I got 150 cards out of the quarter bins. So basically, you're paying for the top loader and getting the card for free. I'm not going to show off all the cards that I got in the quarter bin, but I thought these were the coolest ones because there was something there was something good about about these cards. So the first stack here, these are going to be numbered cards. So this is a numbered Danny Amendola out of 199. Got a numbered Tony Gwynn out of 3,000. LT out of 175. Got a, a Emmett Smith, who just has a number back there in 1962. Got a Eli Manning out of 375. Got a Derrick Henry unparalleled. I thought that was pretty cool. That was out of 199 right there in the back. Wade Boggs out of 625. These guys, I believe, were centered around, uh, came out of Boston. So that's why we're going to see a lot of Boston cards here. Got Adrian Gonzalez out of 125. Dustin Pedroia out of 650. And this is uh, triple thread. So this is an expensive product for, for those. Again, Tops Tribute, expensive product. Starling Marte, you know who that's going to. That's going uh, that's out of 340. We got a Yoan Mancada, and that's out of 399. That's a rookie card out of Chronicles. We got a Carlton Fisk, who is my brother's favorite player. That's out of 1985. We got a Curtis Samuel, who I'm expecting some nice things this year, out of 299. That was from Phoenix. We got a Trey Mancini. That was out of 299 rookie card. Did very well in the home run challenge. We got a, a Lawrence LT, Lawrence Taylor out of 1986, and a Carlton Fisk out of 1969. So those were all a quarter a piece. I did not haggle for, for a quarter. I'm sorry. I, I that's that's pretty low, so I'm not gonna haggle for that. Next up, we got some rookie cards in the quarter bin. So we got Tracy McGrady, Christian Akoy, Nigerian Nightmare. Robert Ori. We got a, a Sports Illustrated for Kids, Eli Manning, right there. Jim Tome, rookie card. Derek Thomas, rookie card. Dansby Swanson, rookie card. Matt Ryan, rookie card. Nomar Garcia Perra, rookie card. Mike Conley, Contreras, another Matt Ryan, Javi Baez, and Will Myers for the rookie cards. Next up in the quarter bins, we got some vintage here. Vintage, and this looks really nice. Roger Repose. We got a Fritz Brickle, New York Yankees rookie, right there for a quarter. We got a Felipe Alou. It is off-center, but it is Felipe Alou. And for a quarter, I mean, come on. Chicago Bears uh, team card, which I believe is from 1963. And then this, I don't know what the heck this is. I don't know if this is a Curtis Martin rookie or auto. So let me know if this looks like Curtis Martin's auto. I don't know if somebody just scribbled on it. I decided to take a chance for a quarter. This was very weird. This is Celebrity Predictors. So it's got Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. I don't know where. This was, I think, from 2010 Upper Deck Baseball Series 1. I've never seen this card. I have to do more research on that. I don't know what the heck that was. But for a quarter, I think I know somebody that would like this. This is a Harlem Globetrotters card, which I don't know what the heck is going on here. Uh, that, again, is probably going to go to somebody... So that was a Harlem Globetrotters card for a quarter. So decided to pick that up. 
Um, and then these were some other nice finds. So this was a rookie Andy Pettit. We got a KB Power Zone from Stadium Club. Frank Thomas, plenty of people I know collect him. We got the Carlton Fisk. The finding moments out of those very cool from the World Series. Nice die cut of Drew Bledsoe. Holiday matchup. Thought that was cool with the cornucopias right there. Haven't seen that before. It's a die cut of Light It Up from Press Proof. I know somebody that likes die cuts. We got Nick Castellanos. This is a rookie cup. He's doing very well this year. We got a 30 year, I believe, Derek Jeter for a quarter. Yes, please. We got Antonio Brown uh, Prism. Nice. I just thought this was pretty cool. Dwayne Wade, look at that picture. Just dunking. We got a gold Bernie Williams. Got a museum collection, David Ortiz. Again, they are from Boston, so they had a lot of that. We got a refractor of the Frank Thomas optic card. Got a Jimmy Fox from Triple Threads. We got, I don't know if this is the Hope Diamond version of this, so Paul Canerco, no plenty of Sox fans right there. We got a uh, second year Peyton Manning for a quarter. And we got a base Anthony Davis prism. So those were out of the quarter bin. Extremely happy about that. Um, next up, we have some from, this was a whole different mix. So these, I believe, were a dollar or two dollars. This is Maxi Kleber. So, you know, I like the, I cheer for the Mavericks. So this is a Maxi Kleber Noir rookie out of 79. These, I believe, were around two. So with the discounts, probably a dollar fifty. So we got a bat relic of Jason Giambi. Andrew Jones, love that with the um, fire entrenched in there. Carl Stelgato, game-worn jersey and bat on the same card. Uh, Bernie Williams, I know plenty of Bernie Williams fans, so we got the uh, jersey and the bat relic. Got another bat relic of Bernie Williams. This I thought was cool. This is a game-used base, and it's got Jason Giambi on it, and this was just taken from a baseball stadium, it says right back here. But I thought that was very cool. And yes, I don't like Jason Hayward, but how can you pass up, I think this was three bucks, a Jason Hayward Chrome autographed rookie card. I'm sure I'll find a place for this to give to somebody. Um, can't pass up that, so that was, that was a cool find. Then we got some, uh, so this was probably about three bucks. This is a Luka Doncic, clearly. You can see my finger through that, so it's nice to pick up that. A Rizzo SP, I think that was about two. We got an Ozzy Albies rookie card from Museum Collection, and that is numbered out of 150. I thought that was pretty cool. That was like two bucks. And Allen Robinson rookie card uh, auto or not auto, but uh, relic. So that was nice. Picked up a Gary Carter rookie for about eight bucks. Can't go wrong with that. Come on, I'll take a Gary Carter rookie for the for the PC. We got some uh, tops SPs right here, Vlad. Babe Ruth and Carlton Fisk. Thought that was very cool. Those were about uh, two dollars, two fifty. Got a numbered Derek Jeter out of one fifty, right there. I think that was a buck fifty. We got uh, Dirk Nowitzki, again relics. And then I picked up a, a Devers, which I don't think I had. A Devers just a base Chrome rookie card, who's just killing it this year. So I picked up that at the same place. So that was very cool to pick that up. As well, a lot of this stuff is going to packages, which I was very happy about to be able to pick up those. Um, next up, so a lot of these are going to be different, different prices. So these whites, these were a dollar. So we got a Jaron Jackson Prism, Jaron Jackson Jr. Prism rookie. Let's see if we can, he can do something. We got a Beam Team Derek Jeter. So those were, the again, the, they were dollar retail, and then I, I got a deal. These were $2, so this is a Juan Soda Refractor. Judge from Triple Threads and Tribute right there. Got a Judge Museum Collection. We got the Kawhi from Prism. We got the uh, uh, Prism Kawhi. That's a refractor version. Can't go wrong with, with refractors for 2 bucks. Donchuk, give and go. We got some... Again, Juan Soto, like I said, we're, we're, we're tackling the Juan Soto PC hard now. So this is some nice Juan Sotos. Got a numbered Juan Soto out of 2021. Got the Beam Team from Stadium Club Chrome of Juan Soto. Next up, these were supposed to be five, but again, I did not pay five. This was a My House Trey Young, but this was a Prism version of that. So I know Trey Young did some nice things, so I picked up that. Got a Starling Marte numbered uh, autograph out of tier one. That's out of 300. 
He's a, he's a journeyman. He's been doing nice things. We got a rookie, Larry Fitz. We got a chrome or a, pris, a fast break disco of uh, Dirk Nowitzki. So pick that up. And we got this very cool blue Zeke that was numbered out of 99. Had to pick up that, especially with the team colors. Thought that was very cool. And then these were 10, but I probably paid 8. I just love this Zion rookie card. I did not have it, so I wanted that for the PC. And I picked up a Brennan Davis numbered out of 499. Again, he's probably going to be one of the stars of the Cubs. He's probably going to be up soon, I would think. And I wanted to pick up his some of his stuff. So those were some of the pickups there. I picked up 20 of the Sport Flicks packs for a buck. Um, we got one of them from 1987. We got an action pack from Monday Night Football. We got a 1990 football right there. So I may hand out these Sport Flicks packs in care packages. I just love Sport Flicks and able to get those for a buck a piece. Yes, I will take those every day. Um, next up was one of my favorite places from 2019. They sold relics and um, cards. The cards were a dollar. The relics were four dollars. But again, since I bought a lot, they gave me a discount. So figure these were probably three dollars a piece. So we got a Emmett Smith game used relic. We got a Reggie Jackson relic with the New York on it. That was very cool. This was game used, of course. We got a number De uh, DeAndre Hopkins out of 99 from Spectra. That, that's an expensive product. We got a Whitey Ford Crusades. That was out of 50. Know plenty of people that like Whitey Ford. We got a Jarek Jeter from the last time I was at the National. This is a base version of the Jeter. Happy to pick that up. This is a Posada that's numbered out of 500 right there at the bottom. For $3, I'll take that. This was, this was a really cool pick. This is a Derek Jeter Refractor for 3 bucks, Bowman Chrome. Um, that was 2007 for that. This was cool. This was a game-used batting glove of Fernando Tatis Sr., not Jr., but there it is. Game use from Upper Deck. Love that. So that was pretty cool to pick up a, a batting glove relic. This was an Anthony Rendon mini relic. That was out of 99 so that was pretty cool. Jose Abreu out of 25. That's the mini. Got a Frank Thomas game used um, jersey. Frank Thomas out of 75 from Tribute. Got a Mark Aguirre. So this was one of the guys that was with him. Orlando Blackman, uh, Donaldson. This is Immaculate Mark Aguirre out of 99 for the Mavericks. So that was very cool. Picked up that. This was neat. This was an event used home plate from the Home Run Challenge in 2002. So this has got Barry Bonds on it, but I just thought it was very cool that this is a piece of the home plate that was used out of there. Got a Drake, Jay Crowder rookie card, on-card auto. I thought that was neat. Uh, Jay Crowder might be getting a, a ring with the Suns next year. We'll see. And then I got some Nowitzki. So this was a green out of Mosaic. We got a Prism. A Prism Prism, I guess. We got the Dirk Nowitzki out of 217 for Diamond Kings. We got this out of Immaculate Collection. It's a big piece of Chauncey Billups for Clippers. It's out of 99. We got a Chris Paul refractor. A Shy Gildress Alexander relic. Expecting big things out of him. I picked up a bigger card um, on eBay a couple months ago. His Danny Manning auto relic. Yes, please, out of 299. Danny Manning, a solid player. This I just thought was really cool. This is a game floor, and then it has a piece of film strip right there in the card. So floor and film strip of Antonio McDice. Thought that was cool. We got the numbered Fitzgeralds right here. More numbered Fitzgeralds, mostly out of 99 right here. Love that uh, XR with the Cardinals in the background. Uh, Crusade. So these are all numbered, I think, out of 99 or close to it. We got a Dak. From the National, that was out of 99. We got a Witten die cut out of 99. And then we got a Witten relic that was game used, so that was very cool. From that same place, we got the dollar card, so I figure these were probably about 80 cents a piece. Start with a Fitzgerald again, tackling the Juan Soto PC, so we got a lot of Juan Sotos here. More Juan Sotos, more Juan Soto goodness right there. 
more Juan Soto, especially happy with that bash and burn because those were an insert and those were like one a box, so those were very hard to get. More Juan Sotos. And in the national box, I found a Andre Dawson from Gypsy Queen, so that was nice for the PC. Picked up a Jesus Lazardo refractor, first Bowman refractor. I'll take a chance on that. Trey Turner. We got a rookie card and then a rookie cup, purple out of 299. Chase Edmonds, who may be the uh, running back for the Cardinals this year. This was a Prism die cut out of 199. I'll take a chance on that. Jason Witten out of 499. We got more Larry Fitzgerald numbered cards. Take those for a dollar. More. This was a very cool die cut right there of Larry Fitzgerald. More of that. We got a die cut right there. And then refractors of Larry Fitzgerald, all right there, all different years of chrome. Um, more Larry Fitzgerald, getting him for the PC. I found one Donchick, or two Donchicks in there. This is one of them. This is the Will to Win from Mosaics. Got that for less than a dollar. Prisms, yes, every day. Dirk Nowitzki Prisms for less than a dollar. I'll take that. Optic Refractor, Crusade Refractor. We got a Mosaic Blue, always team match stuff. Vortex Dirk Nowitzki. I got it from Hoops Premium, the purple and uh it was base, I guess. Essential Stars, Nowitzki, again, Refractor from Nowitzki. We got a couple rookies that were on the Mavericks, Brunson, Shock, Parallel, and then the, the Kleber, which is, I'm not sure what that is with the, with the green and blue. Picked up some uh, Chris Paul, so we got the red, white, and blue. I thought that was really cool in the Clippers jersey. Looked really nice. And then a Chris Paul, when he was traded to the, 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 um, the Rockets, so Prisms, I'll take that all day. We got a Brandon Marshall numbered card for my brother. This was really cool. Look at this. This is intros. It's die cut there on the top, and it's got Brandon Marshall right there. I just thought that was a really cool die cut with the intros, him like talking to the team right there with the flag. I just thought it was a, that was one of my favorite cool-looking cards. Gail Sayers numbered out of $9.99. Brandon Marshall, again, out of $1.44. Mike Singletary, Refractor. We got the Richard Dent out of 99 from Unparalleled. And then for me, for the PC, Michael Irvin out of 499. We got a Jason Witten, just a refractorous version. We got Spellbound of Zeke. So I, I only got three of his numbers. So we got an E, an L, and an I. So I'm going to try to complete the whole version of that for Zeke. We got the E on the L and the I. We got Tony Romo, a refractor. Witten. Prism, Matthew Stanford Prism, Barry Sanders Prism, I'll take that from Fleer, Calvin Johnson Tribute, and then Kenny Galladay Rookie Card Prisms for less than a dollar. I'll take a chance on those. Doesn't matter to me. Those will go to an, a nice home right there. Okay, and this last place was uh, a dollar card, so I was able to probably get for about 90 cents. They were centered out of New Jersey or New York, I want to say. And this is where I found a lot of Andre Dawson's. So this is my main PC of Andre Dawson. So we were able to get a Generations Dawson card right there. Gold label Dawson. Um, these were 50 cents if they were out of, if they weren't any protection, they were 50 cents. We got a uh, Triple Threads Dawson out of 1500. That was very cool. Gypsy Queen with that frame. Fire, Andre Dawson. Again, Gypsy Queen framed, two of those. We got a mini, Topps Lineage, Andre Dawson. And those two Andre Dawsons, the blue Andre Dawson, and then the regular right there. Also picked up some Rizzo's while they were there as well. So we got the Rizzo Finest Refractor. We got the Chops Tribute. These were 50 cents, these that were out. So Riz, those four right there. We got the Inception, Anthony Rizzo. So, if, you know, base like Inception as a box now is like 150. I'll take a base for a, a 90 cents. Anthony Rizzo. We got the Rizzo Refractor from 2019. That was very cool. I was very happy to pick that up. Um, two of these mini uh, Tops Heritage, but they're different colors. So, I picked up both those colors for the Rizzo uh, Museum Collection, different years of Rizzo. We got uh, the Rizzo Silver Pack, I believe. Got Gallery of Greats, Tops Chrome, Rizzo, Tribute. We got Inception, two of the different versions, black and the green. We got the gold, Anthony Rizzo. 
uh, power producers, Topps Tribute Museum Collection, early of those, finest Topps Tribute, again, museum collection of Rizzo. And then without going through a lot of these, this place was nice is because they broke them up by star. So I was just able to go through different cards and get them for different people. So I know I have some Dodgers fans, so I picked up some Kobe Bellinger, I have some Frank Thomas stuff, uh, Smith and Deck, so I was able to pick up those for the PC right there. Um, we got some Kawhi, again, some more Thomas, uh, Tony Gwynn, who I know, uh, Arania, so a lot of those are going to go to Scotty Arania for his Gwynn. We got some uh, Jeter, and we got some Chipper Jones. I know we got some Brave Sands out there, so these are going to go to uh, Wento, who is a Ch Chipper fan. I know he's going to like that die cut of Chipper. Uh, more chipper blues. We got some um, some nice stuff that's going to go to him. Uh, chipper rookies for 80 cents. Yes, please. Uh, more of the Tony Gwynn. We got some Judge for 50 cents right there. Some Mantle Chrome. Uh, I got a Sand Barry Sanders Chrome. Picked up some more Larry Fitzgerald. This is the last deck that I have. Larry Fitzgerald. More of that for the PC. So my Larry Fitzgerald PC went up a ton at the National Tribute Cards. More of the Gwyn. Uh, again, the triple threads numbered. You got some Jeter. Love that picture of the captain right there. That's pretty cool. I don't know what that's from. Um, that is a chrome mantle. Another mantle card right there. Judge. I'll take Judge Inception cards and, and museum collection for less than a dollar. And then a Luis Robert uh, one right there. So that was what happened at the National. Again, I know this was a long video, but I wanted to show it all off. I loved it. Um, and uh, especially with the National, you need to go in knowing how much things were. I would say what I did was I kind of knew how much some big cards were. And then when I saw a showcase and saw that those prices weren't really in the sink, that they were too high, I just kind of left thinking that they're, they're absurd with the rest of the stuff and went on to more. That's the nice thing about the National. You can go for the high value cards like the uh, like the Soto that I showed off right off the bat. You can go for this type of card at the National. But in the end, for me, going into the dollar bin and the quarter bin is where you really get your, your nice stuff. Um, and it was just a lot of fun at the National to meet everybody and to pick up this stuff. Now I have some stuff to give to people again in Christmas packages and holiday packages. So look for that as we get closer to the holiday. So really appreciate you checking out this video. I'll have my PSA reveal probably in a couple weeks. Next week is going to be Tops 3D, and I'll do the PS reveal after that. But I really appreciate you checking this out, no matter how much you did. Let me know about your pickups. Did you go to the National? What did you pick up at the National? Feel free to tell me about those. And, of course, your social media, Instagram, at Cards, all one word. Hope you have a lot of fun in your next break and a lot of luck in your next break. And thanks for watching Like a Hawk.